first thing we are going to do is we are going to take a look at all the components we are going to use for our homemade computer. This is the most important part probably. This is the housing. Now you can go and buy one in the internet or wherever and pay tons of money. What we did, we just took the old housing of uh, 1997 computer. We took out all the old components and we are going to use this. <laughs> so it's for free. Now, the only problem we had is that those um, little parts where you mount the motherboard on, there are not enough of them, so we used some screws and put some insulation tape uh, on them, so, well, the motherboard is not going to touch the housing. The next part is this Elite Group model K7S5A motherboard. The processor is already on the motherboard. It is an AMD Athlon XP 1800. Of course you also need this uh, little fan to go along with the processor. Here is the RAM we are going to use. Now this is not perfect for that motherboard because this is SD RAM so it is quite an old system. This is the graphics card we are going to use. This is an ATI 3D Rage Pro AGP. Now, this is quite an old model, but um, <laughs> we couldn't find any anything that was newer than this. This is the hard disk drive. This is a Maxter model. It has a 40 gigabytes. The computer is going to use two CD drivers. This is an HP CD writer. This is a creative uh, CD drive. It's a reader only. And you should always keep an eye on this number here. Because the higher the number is, the higher the speed is. So this is a 52 times. We also found this really old 24 times drive but uh, this will be very very slow so it's a good idea not to use it. We're also going to put a floppy disk drive into the computer. This is an NEC model. Now of course nowadays a floppy disk drive is really a question of taste because well quite honestly you don't really need it anymore. Um, you can also get a flash card um, readers which have the same dimensions so that's probably a useful thing to have. This is the power supply and um, this also comes out of an old computer. One thing we did was we opened this up and cleaned all the dust out so that it wouldn't get any heat problem because of all the dust that got into there over the years. And last but not least, we're also going to need a bunch of screws and a bunch of IDE cables. So, there you have all the parts you need to build a computer. We hope that this video was able to help you building your own personal computer.